Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the simply supported beam and the fixed beam. I will also explain the difference and the advantages and disadvantages of these two types of the beam. First we consider the simply supported beam. The simply supported beam can be drawn as like in this way. One is one is the hand support provided at one end and the other is the lower support provided at the other end of the beam. The fixed support is only being supported by two fixed supports, one each, at each end. Here is also fixed support, here is also fixed support, so this type of the beam is known as the fixed beam. And let's suppose that there is any uniformly distributed load acting on this beam represented by W, here is also the uniformly distributed load acting on this beam represented by W. Now the, due to this this condition of the beam in which we have just hinge support and roller support. We have different deflection and moment in comparison to this of the fixed beam. Now if I draw the deflected shape of this beam with simply supported beam so it will have the high deflected shape and high deflection at the middle of the beam as it can be seen but there is no deflection at the both ends because they provide resistance to the deflection the hinge and the roller support. So this will be the maximum deflection here in this case. We can represent the delta maximum. While in case of the fixed beam, we don't have any, we don't have any uh, deflection here at this point, here also at this point, but we will have the deflection here at this point. And the make, we can also represent it by delta maximum. But in this case, in the fixed beam, we have less deflection. We have less deflection because of the fixed supports. Due to these fixed supports, our deflection will start later on and at the mid we will have less deflection in comparison to the simply supported beam. In simply supported beam, our deflection starts from the two ends and will increase increase and at the midpoint we will have the maximum, beam, maximum deflection in comparison to the fixed beam. So we can see here we have more deflection in comparison to that of the fixed beam with the same load. The other main difference is that in case of the simply supported beam, if I draw the deflection, if I draw the bending moment, there's a bending moment diagram, so I will have only positive bending moment and which are and which have to be maximum at the midpoint. The bending moment is positive only and the maximum bending moment is at the midpoint. So I can write it here only positive bending moment I will have in case of the simply supported beam. Only positive bending moment. We don't have any negative bending moment so we only have to provide the reinforcement only at the midpoint of the beam. This is the reinforcement or the tension bars provided at the midpoint. We don't have to provide the reinforcement at these two ends because we don't have any negative bending moment here. This is one advantage of the simply supported beam that we have to provide the reinforcement only at the midpoint, at the middle of the beam. But the problem is that the bending moment is maximum here at this point and we have to provide more reinforcement but only in midpoint, mid middle of the beam. Now if we come across the fixed beam, so if I draw the bending moment of the fixed beam, it will look like this. That the bending moment will start here from negative because of the support here also negative so we will have positive bending moment we will have negative bending moment so it means that we have two different two different bending moments one is positive bending moment here acting at the middle of the beam and one is negative bending moment acting at the two respective ends of the beam so it means that we have to provide the two reinforcement. One is at the middle of the beam, which is the, which will be the positive reinforcement, and one will be the reinforcement provided at these two ends, which will be the negative reinforcement here in this case. So this we can say this the uh, a disadvantage. But if we compare it, that the bending moment will be smaller at the midpoint in comparison to the simply supported beam, which is the maximum bending moment here. Here the bending moment will be small, but the bending moment has been distributed and to the negative reinforcement here at the support and also we will have less deflection here in this beam while we have more deflection here at this beam so each beam has advantage and disadvantage and you have to use according to your 
analysis. So this was all about the, uh, uh, the difference and advantages of the simply supported beam and the fixed beam. Hope you guys understand what is the difference between these two types of beam. The main difference is that we have maximum deflection here while there is less deflection here. We have only positive bending moment while we have positive bending moment as well as we have negative bending moment. So we have two different types of the reinforcement. One is negative reinforcement here to be provided at the support and one is positive reinforcement provided at the middle of the beam. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.